What is up, everybody, and welcome back to episode 8 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day so far, and I'm sorry for the late upload today, but I've been quite busy. Now, before we start, I would like to set a little like goal. If we can get 5 likes on today's episode, that would be amazing, but we're going to go ahead, get into the game here. We're going to do some more story missions, possibly upgrade our weapons, so let's get straight into it. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and sub, and I will see you guys later. Alrighty, ladies and gents, we are in the game, and before we quickly start off the episode, I wanted to say we are using my brand new editing software, as well as we now have 1080p, so feel free to go ahead and turn up your quality, you guys, it'll look a lot better, trust me, but let's get straight into it, we should have a couple of things to do today, now I believe we have to go see one person in particular, we have to go see Mrs. Mary Linton up here to do a couple of missions there, and then after that we're going to go ahead and see what other things it unlocks, so let's go ahead and head straight over, shall we? I'll see you guys in just a second. I'm going to head up here really quickly before we go see Mary Beth, and I'm going to stop at the Valentine gun store and get ourselves some more ammunition, because we are very, very low on ammo. We have 11 rounds left for our Springfield, so I want to go ahead and grab a bit more ammo before we head up there, just in case there's any fools that need shooting. Like, I think, wait, what was Duchess saying? We feed people who need feeding, shoot people who need shooting, and there's one more. I think it says, like, and kill people who need killing. It's like, now you decide which one you are. I forget which... I forgot who says that. Something across those lines. And it's quite a cool quote, actually. I might use that. Ammunition. So, what are we going to run? Revolver, cartridge, pistol, cartridge, rifle cartridge is regular. Designed for reli reliability. Increased stopping power. Hunting without damaging pelts. Yeah, okay. So, we're probably going to go from some more express ammo. Why is it? There we go. We'll get full. We don't really need varmint. Rifle high velocity improves range damage and target penetration, the but it doesn't. For himself at one point. It doesn't improve damage though. It actually has more of a damage drop off. There we go. And then I'm not going to take any regular. That's good enough. We got ourselves some ammo. I don't think there's any accessories that we can use for our rifle. There might be permanently increases capacity for repeater. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Kind of want that. Gun belt. We'll get some gun oil and head out of here. Alrighty. That's all we're going to do for now. Let's get out of here. Let's head on up and see Mary Beth now that we got ourselves some Keep ammunition. Looking. Yes? Oh, I'm Jeez. sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Huh. Jeez. Mrs. Linton, a caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? <laughs> Make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. That's true. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. No, 
long time ago now. That just seems I manipulative to me. Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you huh. help me? I have to. I mean, I kind of, I do really wonder what would happen if I say don't help, but I am going to. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. It's quite far. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just Carmody Dell is on the other side of the map, Arthur. I think. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. I mean, yeah. You already owe me. But I'm pretty sure we don't see her the rest of the story, so she's never going to pay us back. More reputation, I'll take that any day. Alright, so we have to head down to Carmody Dell. That's all the way over here. Wait, Carmody... That's not Carmody Dell. Isn't... Am I dumb? Oh, also, by the way, um... Oh, I might have lost it now. There was a station I called... Here! I called this Latinx station the last six episodes because the F was cut off on the side of the map. We couldn't see over here. It's actually called Flatnik Station. And I'm kind of considering calling it Latinx Station still because that's, I kind of like that name better. But yeah, fun fact. So the F was cut off by the edge of the map that we could see. So I always called it Latinx, but now it's Flatnik and we know that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. The only reason I learned that is because I watched one of Jacksepticeye's plays through of Red Dead yesterday. And he was like, oh, we have to go down to Flatnik Station. I was like, wait, what? I was like, Ever well, since when was this called Flatnik Station? So, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to try to call it that, but I might just end up calling it Latinic because I like it. So, without further ado, let's head on down there, see if we can save what's-his-name. I already forgot his name, so I'll see you guys in a minute. What's, what's going on? My died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? You're, you're walking, you're walking around on a twisted, okay, that's Cap, but yeah, sure. Sure, I found. Oh, thank you, sir. That's Cap. Thank you. Is she not capping? You know Emerald Ranch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the heck? Bro, these people. Wait, was I going the wrong way? I was. Still, why do you want me to take you to Emerald Ranch? That's so far. Oh my god. Alright, I'll see you guys in a sec. Are we here? Easy, easy. Okay, we're here. I don't think I'm going to need this, but I might as well take it anyways. I want to watch these guys for a second. They're always weirding me out. And what is Colonia? Yes, what is it? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> 100 years ago, the great Colonian master uh -huh. led pilgrims across the Lanahassee into the wilderness to found a great place of safety. Okay, so that's Cap. Uh, I'm gonna have to intervene, man. We are heading, Jamie. Gentlemen! What? Okay, now I'm very confused, and these guys all have mental damage. <coughs> Uh, can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Um, not one you're gonna like. <clears throat> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I, I... I'm really tempted to say, oh, uh, I'm really tempted to say I'm searching for a way to fix your bullet wound and then shoot him, but I'm not going to do that. Meaning? Jamie knows the truth, but of course, 
You may speak with him. Good, exactly. good, good. That's what I'm talking about. teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... Don't I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Oh no. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask <laughs> Here we go! Hey, 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 so, so, hey, 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 yo, 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 so about high velocity ammo, about, about some high velocity rounds, yeah? About some high velocity rounds. <laughs> Can't actually do that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Off we go, can I lasso, or lasso him or something, or do I just have to chase him? I like how this game is still limiting my speed. This horse is so much faster than this, though. Thank you. Now it's letting me go a little bit faster. Only a tiny bit. This man's gonna end up falling off a cliff. He's on the side of a mountain. How does he know which way to go? Actually, I'll answer that for you if he doesn't. Oh! My horse just... Okay. Yeah, but, I mean, it is. Well, yes, but I actually know. Or, well, no, but you know what? You get the point. No, you weren't. You were amongst a bunch of idiots that were inside of a shell of safety, which has it's some type of mental illness, trust me. You're the one running on a horse away from a guy that wants to talk to you and bring you back to your sister. Oh, yeah, I like the hard way. Nah. Oh, I could just nail his horse. Sorry, Mr. Christ's sakes, no, I Jamie, can't. Just hold up a minute. I'm not gonna hurt a horse. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. No, they're not. Stop it. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear. You're gonna shoot me. What are you Go talking ahead. about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Yep. Three, four, five. He's got one round left. <laughs> Crap. He's only got one round of ammo left in that revolver. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. And he's out of ammo. Leave me alone. Please. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. He's out of ammo. I'm, I'm gonna. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Dude, you're out of ammo. Now calm down. He's out of ammo, anyways. I kind of want to see what would have happened. Go see your sister. Okay. Good man. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Nah, good have man, I Arthur. Have been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yes, 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 you have. But that's I okay. Know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. Yeah, it's a six shooter. He was out of ammo. <laughs> ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I just saw the uh, cylinder while he was holding up like that. Again? That day's over, my friend. All right, where are we headed back to? Oh, we have a yellow one. Cool. Let's just follow the line. Cutscene mode. Jamie, Jamie, come home, please. You've father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. What'd she just give us? And you. What was the... Did she just give us a suitcase? Is that hers? Or is that ours now? We'll see. I think it's hers. Yeah, it's hers. I've 
You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. That was kind of a sad, sad, a sad ending to that scene. I can't speak today. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. <laughs> Good man, he knows when he's, you know, he knows himself. He knows himself well. Alrighty, what's next? Who do we have to talk to? Is that Mr. John Marston? It is. Alright, let's go ahead and head over there and talk to Mr. John Marston, I think. We didn't get anything out of that, I don't believe. No money, no nothing, so we can't go take a look at any new guns we can get. So, yeah. Let's just head on over there. I'll see you guys in a sec. I kind of feel bad for Kieran. I was going to say, I kind of feel bad for Kieran because he's trying to make friends, but everybody still thinks he's an O'Driscoll, so they're all still being jerks to him. I like Kieran. Hey, Arthur. What's up, John? How you doing, man? Looking at a map? Uncle told me something about a train. Uh, oh, the train, yes. What did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows oh, just yeah. south of the state border. Yes. Yeah, and you want to go hit it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. Come on, Arthur. Go do it. Not too Come on, you lad. It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant <laughs> uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're going to need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. What a bloody legend. Jean getting all the supplies? Let's do it. I guess I have to get the oil then. Easy. You go find us an oil Yeah, let's get it done, Arthur. They're always heading into that refinery. No, Lord. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Okay. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Okay. Let's go get it done. And also, yes, episodes from today on are going to be a lot longer because I don't want to make Red Dead Redemption 2 a 20-part series. So I think most episodes are going to be roughly an hour long now. I'll try to make them close to an hour. That's what I'll do. But let's go ahead and head up here to the top. Where is that refinery? Right about there. Okay. So we got to get up there, I'm assuming undetected. And I really don't have any guns. My bow might be the way to go here. Because it doesn't use gunpowder and doesn't make Big Bang. So yeah. I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to go with a bow. And I don't have very many arrows, if I remember right. We'll check in a minute once we leave camp here. Alrighty, well, let's head over. That guy's going to see if I kill him. I have to try to get this way without getting spotted. Can he spot... I, the minimap says I'm hidden. Okay, they have literally no clue that I'm here. Sick. Okay. Now, these guys... Is there one or two? Okay, I think there's only one. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I might take a hit here. I only see one guard. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop my bow out. Down him. Then I'm gonna run in there and grab the, the oil wagon and run away. That's literally, that literally could have gone no better. That literally could not have gone any better. No way. That could have gone no better. Oh my gosh. That was, that could have gone no better. 
That was perfect. Oh, okay. Maybe not as perfect as I thought. It's okay, let's just go this way. Are we driven oil? Yeah, we're leaking oil. Crap. Okay. What are we? I can't tell. I don't think we are. Oh, we're not. Let's go. Okay, I hit the wood. Nice. Okay. So we still have a full thing of oil. Are those guys chasing? Uh, it appears they're trying to. Okay, I think they lost us. Awesome. That went amazingly. I could not have asked for a better outcome from that heist. And we only took a little bit of damage. Yeah, only took a little bit of reputation damage from that one kill. And to be honest, if there's any way that I could have meleeed him, I would have. But from the way place he was standing, if I would have gotten any closer, I'm pretty sure I would have said like, "Oh, there's people here," and then I would have had to deal with 16 to 17 of them. So I'm actually really content with how that ended. That's probably the best attempt I've ever had at that mission. Wow. Why the horses ran due to a bow shot? I don't have a clue, but I like it. I mean, maybe they saw him just fall over and got spooked. I don't know, man. Um, let's go this way. I was thinking about taking the trail, but this wagon should be well built enough to withstand a little bit of off-roading. Where are we even going? How far are we? Close? Oh, yeah. Wait. No, we're not. We're actually quite far. It's okay. Let's just take her this way, then. Oh crap, we got some water ahead of here. Okay, let's be careful, we don't want to bust a wheel. Yep. Okay. Good news, we didn't bust a wheel. Okay, you guys good? I don't know how you fell over from that, but hey, they're okay. Move, animals. Thanks. Okay. Let's go. Close. Alright, we're good. Easy. Yeah. yeah, let the horses go. Good man. Alright, that was amazing. That was that was pretty flawless. I love that. Alright, let's head back to camp and let John know that that was a successful mission. John is right there. Also, we got somebody over here. Mars? No. Michael? Oh, I don't know why I said Marston. That's John's last name. Alrighty. Let's head on over back to camp and go from there. Oh, that's beautiful. I've never seen that in this game. That is literally beautiful. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. Alrighty. What do you want to talk about? Can I ask you a favor? Oh lord, what's Probably gonna be? Something not. with Jack? Jack fishing trip? Very funny. Jack fishing trip. Would you do something? Yeah. Jack? Yeah, Jack fishing trip. kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because <laughs> you do what you say. Please. Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. It is the morning. It's like 4 a.m., Arthur. Alrighty. So take it we gotta do something with Jack and then we'll go ahead and meet up with John. Not dead yet. Where's Jack? Jack Jack. Right there. Let's go see Jack Jack. Jack, my man. What's going on? Such a bloody legend. What you up to? Playing. 
Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Yeah. Sure. You're the... It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> don't die. <laughs> I have to say that to every character I like now. Wait, is my horse good? We're good and clean? Yeah, we're good. Jack, what's up, buddy? Alrighty, got your little fishing pole. Nice, my man. Let's go fishing, dude. This will be great. This will be fun. I love it. Oh, it actually gave me a waypoint. I was about to see where we had to go. Let's go, bud. Let's go then. Hopefully, he's gonna be okay with me going a little bit fast because you guys know I ride fast. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jack. No, you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. Good. You're a brave kid. So Jack's like very you. brave. Yes. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. <laughs> well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just. You'll tough. understand when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. We're not. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. Oh, no. We left so quick. Oh, what was the name of it? I'll sure get him a new one. Someone can get you another storybook. Yeah. I don't request right. F1 for details. What's it called? Penny Dreadful Book. Okay. Let's go try to find that eventually. I wonder if we have... Maybe the general store would have one in Valentine? We'll go check that out. This game makes you connect with characters so well, especially kids in games. They always try to help them. This way, bud. Let's go. This way. Come on, follow me. Wait for little Jack Jack. Oh, he's so cute! Okay, tab and R. Let's go ahead and use ours. Here we go. Are you waiting for something? Not really. First, we need some bait. Jeez. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. True. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? Good stuff, Jack. Yeah, good. That was actually a really good cast. He's got a fish right now, there. Jack is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got Oh, a you'll bite? know. Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Oh, I got one. Look. There, got him. Pull him in. Working on it, buddy. Oh, space. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You okay. Break the line. Just to wear him out first before you try Oh, come on, to he's right in. there. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try really Got him. In nice and steady. Easy, little bluegill. Look at that. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We'll keep him. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Well, I'm sorry, I want that one. Chance to grow up a bit. Right to bait. take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Sure. Okay. I'm out of bait. Oh, apparently I have cheese some still. Of those red flowers. I'll be right back. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep fishing. See that cast, Jack? How do you know when you feel a bite? Oh, okay. Missed it again. It's weird in video games doing this. I understand that, Jack. Ah, uh, too slow there. 
What? A fish got away with your bait. Okay, sick. That's fine. This is fine. Put one more piece of cheese on. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. <laughs> but then, something happens. Oh, come on. You can get food for days. Really? If yeah. You're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. I think so. Huh. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? <sighs> ah, enough. Bad luck. There it is. Fish on the line. I see. I see. You got a stick at things, Jack. Nice. What is that? Oh, how many fish is that? Surgeon? No, that's not a surgeon. That's a surgeon. Not huge. Oh, this one's red fin oh red, red fin pickerel. I've yeah. never seen that. I thought it was a baby sturgeon. <laughs> Let's throw that guy back. That's a little bit small. I'm just gonna eat him on the ground. Is that all? Hey, oh, there we go. This. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Oh, look at that. What a fine young man. Uh-oh. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. This is a good way Pinkerton to start off a conversation. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. That was the first mission, I think. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh, Milton. You see, Milton. I haven't done Milton. anything wrong. Aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it. Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. Just an FYI, I want to let you guys know I'm gonna kill both Who of those guys. No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. I'm gonna kill them both. <laughs> oh, yeah, this'll be fun. You do not wrong little Jack. That is something you do not do. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. You definitely don't wrong little Jack while I'm around. I don't care. They were talking rude around little Jack. That's a war that's a crime. To, with the death penalty. Come on, Jackie. Jackie Chan? Nah, Jack Jack. Yeah, Jack Jack's good. Jack Jack. Come on, buddy. Alright, let's go. Where do you need to go? Back to camp? Let's go. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Matt? Mm. Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. Yeah. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. 
That's why you got all of us. Protect you. Poor Jack. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. <laughs> Did you like fishing? Boring. It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> oh, Jack. Boys getting off. <laughs> Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Aww. Isn't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. <laughs> we got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Huh. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Alrighty. Huh. Interesting way to deal with some people like that. But hey, you know what? That's just me. That's just me. Alrighty, so what else we want to do? I think we gotta go finish up that job with John. That is Micah. This is John. Mr. John Marston. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and ride on over and see Mr. John, and I'll pick you guys back up in a second. Uh, what's going on? Okay, this is not good. They are right there. Okay. I don't want them to know the camp's right here. So I'm gonna go this way. Lure this way. Jump on this little road right here and run this way. Now they shouldn't know which way I came from. And if I don't have to fight them, I won't. Actually, I don't think I have to. Let's get out of here. I think I can just go this way and escape that. I really don't want to fight that because I think you lose. Yeah, you lose reputation for fighting those guys. Let's get out of there. That's definitely not something I want to fight right now. Obviously could have shot that guy and probably gotten away with it. But then they would have been alerted to where the camp was. They may have already known. They were sitting right there. No doubt they were waiting for me to walk out there. So they were setting up an ambush, but I don't know exactly why. So they know that we're there. That's not good at all. As soon as somebody discovers your camp right there, that's not good, especially a bounty hunter. That's They work very closely with the government most times, and that's not good for that Pinkerton person, Milton, what the heck his name is. Milton and Ross, I think he said. I'm gonna kill both those guys. It is Sean. I saw, I could tell by the hat. Sean, you bloody legend. Jack, didn't somebody ever tell you not to play with guns? Shit. At least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Fucking scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, 
What do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. <laughs> well, let me come on the raid, bitches. <laughs> Grow up. Coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here? You're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you it ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. <laughs> you're a dead man. Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's you know, your I, problem with me? I don't me? know if Jack ever played In fact, this don't game. tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? Find the future. In all its glory. Ah, yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. I was going to say, I don't think Jack's ever played through Red Dead, but I bet you would do a good impression of Sean. Wake up, you lazy sir. Arthur you just doing, said that without opening his mouth. I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Let's do it. Earning would be a relative term, but hey, we're doing it anyways. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so? Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. Gotcha. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Fair enough. Fair I would too. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much. Sorry about my chair. <laughs> Loud See, chair. This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. Bear left here, towards roads. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? <laughs> it's incessant. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. <laughs> Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scar-faced. A right barrel of laughs. So, we've lost the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. All right, easy. Remember, these are innocent folks. If we handle this right, nobody needs... He was going to say nobody needs to die here, but I cut him off. <laughs> Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm going to make sure she slows. <laughs> I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Let's do it, Arthur.
You know what's happening. Nothing <laughs> good. This is my repeater. It's my repeater. It's my bolt. Make that quick and join us on there. All right. Hey, get on that train. Faster. Sean, the little legend. Go on ahead. Howdy there, folks. Everybody stay calm. Sure. You get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money, didn't they just say a second ago they didn't want anybody to die and then he instantly walks in and just domes a kid with the back of his rifle? I don't want to kill nobody. Thank you. Oh. Okay, let's not do that. Because I lose a lot of reputation for that. Push two. That guy. Come on. Get your bag. Everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't you be got. shy. People Good. like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Trouble is on I want to count to three. One. Two. God damn it. Oh, sick is better than dead, lady. Thank you. My Dang. Let's just do what he says. So this can be I don't like losing reputation, but it's kind of forcing me to. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Okay, huh? You sure about that? Why are you wasting our time? You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! I want to ensure it was actually part of the story. Come on, quick! I don't want to actually do that. Money's valuable. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Oh, really? Really? Come on, come Give me money now. Don't be shy. Yeah, see, late, see, kids. That's all. Yeah, I'm kidding. No, don't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't, don't rob people. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that. You're gonna get yourself shot and killed. Don't do that. I can handle this from here. You should check Italian boy. Okay. Okay. What is it? You all right? Let me get... I don't trust this. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. Yeah, you're gonna get shot, Sean. Get back. There's probably something in here, Arthur. There is something in there. A guy with a rifle who almost just killed you. I'm missing some rounds. Crap. I'm sorry. Get up, you little Irish shit. Get up. Dead. You okay, Sean? This time you okay, I don't know. Can you provide the cover? I think he's okay. Best brother I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. Oh. Got some goodies. Oh. Gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Hot bastards. <laughs> Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best. All right. I know. That's what's worrying me. We'll take that. Thank you, thank you. All right. We should probably be going now. There's some decent stuff. Come on. We should get out of here. Now nah, we're fine. The game says there are stings, so that means there are stings. No, Arthur, don't do that. Open it. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Alright, let's go. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horse, Schmidt! You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't we do you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberals. Dead? There's a few more than torn up. Uh-oh. Damn my big mouth. Okay. Where's my bolt? I want my bolt action. Last chance. There they are. Open fire. Shit. We got more on the left. Come on, come on, try to drink. Do you see him? Uh, slugs? Crap. 
thought I had slugs. If I didn't have slugs, I would be using a shotgun, but it works from here, I guess. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. See ya. Rifle, we're gonna deal with him. Headshot him really quick. That was a miss. That was a headshot. That was a headshot. Okay, we're not gonna get back up. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of these guys. Where did that one go? Where are these rounds going? Where are these rounds going? Thank you. I want my bolt action. I hate this rifle. Reload here. He's dead. Let's go. Time to go. <gasps> I get my rifle. Sick. That's what I'm talking about. I just had to walk in my room and I was not thinking. Hold on. This is using express rounds. Okay, cool. Let's go. We're gone. Uh, let's just go this way. Come on. Hopefully they'll follow. We're going this way. I apologize for that one. What do you think I'm doing? We need to move now. Let's go. Why are you playing at? Doing good. All right, we're fine. Whew, a little bit close. Where's everybody else? All right, they're here. <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. Please, we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? No. We still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that okay. a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You yep. know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Ha! $246. That's what we're talking about, guys. Alrighty. Hope you guys sincerely enjoyed episode 8. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. It's totally free. And you can always change your mind later. But without further ado, that's going to be it for me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all in episode 9. Bye-bye, y'all. And I'll see you next time.